So glad you're with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. And no headbutts, no low blows. All right? Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? Do you, or is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. Very clean offense from defense by White. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by White. Very nice defensive guard there. White still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Pavetkin's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Lands the counter. I guess it's already a sign of things to come. They are not wasting any time toe-to-toe -to -toe in round one. If this is an appetizer, please, please bring on the meal. Good counter punch. It's been a recent trend, Teddy, where we've seen in the heavyweight division a lot of Eastern Europeans dominating. Why do you think that is? Same thing in basketball. I don't think they're the better athletes, but you know what? There's an urgency. There's a real hunger. This is their opportunity. The fighters over here and the basketball players for that part, they have too many options here. Over there, they make the most of it. And fundamentally, they're very sound. And there he counters back against his opponent. Povetkin's proving to be elusive. Good-looking counterpunch. up defensively protecting the head keep your hands up, right keep your hands up let's get on that here we go round 2 is underway fine fundamentals good counter punch good job with three flush punches by white No, he missed that right. Oh, and there you go. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Teddy, I guess they wanted it. Look at this action going right out there, wasting no time. No, these guys are impatient. They couldn't wait to get at each other. Pavetkin's doing a good job there. He has a great sense of his identity. He knows he's got a fight on the outside, and creating that space is the way to do it.
way through this round. And yet another jab lands. Well, maybe one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing, and we're seeing it on display here. He has an iron chin. 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Pavetkin. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good block there by bad intentions. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of round number two. Throws a counter punch there. The end of the round has arrived. And now an opportunity for the trainer here to get his hands on his guy. His guy just got tagged pretty good there. And when he looks into his eyes, what is he looking for? Well, first of all, he's looking to see whether or not his guy is still there. You know, he got stunned pretty good. And then what he has to do is make sure his guy is listening to him and telling him, hey, look, you got caught. You've been caught before. This is the way we can fix it. This is what you got to do to correct things. showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Showing you some defense there with the block. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by White. Good work on the combination by White. a big right hand after eating one himself. Nice block by bad intentions. Excellent counter punch by White. to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh, boy, what a round. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. Well targeted, one, two by White. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. 
Well-placed counter punch by White. Solid counter punch by White. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Povetkin. Smart counter punch by White. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Povetkin. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by White. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. There it is! Povetkin's been stunned! Takes one, but gives one. Good work by White! He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. That was not well targeted by White. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. right hand after eating one himself. Combination to the head. Povetkin's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, <laughs> you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Ovechkin staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been non-stop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. A minute to go in what has been a memorable round. Great stuff from these two. He got hit right there, 
but he also gave one. Solid effort by Pavetkin. into offense comes back with the counter punch and that's exactly what he brings to the game he makes you miss he makes you pay and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on he's just having his way on the outside against the guy that can't afford to stay there no he has to find a way to get inside i have a little advice for him start moving your head and start working your way in without catching the punches on the way in I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. A headshot blocked. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Jab, jab, use the jab. Keep moving, keep moving. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Bad intentions, his training regimen probably didn't include much work defensively because he has been a sitting target all night long. Yeah, it's just not moving his head. And you know the problem when you try to block and you don't move your head, your opponent can put punches together and keep your defensive, your handcuffs. But when you move your head, you create an opening. So your opponent throws a punch, he misses, he doesn't put them together. He's worried about something coming back. Right now, the opponent's not worried about anything coming back. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by White. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Pavetkin's doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponents. Pavetkin's shown us that if he pulls this trigger, he's hitting that target. His accuracy is great. Well, that's part of his ability. You know, I mean, it's not just his hand speed and that he's technically good. You know, he's got a little bit of pop, but he knows when to throw. See, that's important, Joe. Know when to let the hands go. He knows exactly what time it is. of the round here and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score yeah it was and you know it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard Marvin Hagler where Leonard stole rounds at the end where he just clipped off 30 seconds and that's exactly what the judges remembered fine fundamentals good counter punch Pavetkin, strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus.
caught by bad intentions. Blocks that punch. what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Able to dismiss that body shot. Gets rid of that body shot. been a hotly contested war throughout and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds yeah these guys are not saving anything they're going for broke right from the beginning Punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Nice work, great technique. The combo lands. <clears throat> Ovetkin's doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Ovetkin's employing a strategy that works really well for him. He's staying outside, he's utilizing that jab, and he's scoring when he can. Yeah, he's recognizing the deficiencies of his opponent. He's got a slow, plodding guy in front of him who's a little flat-footed, and he's doing, as you said, exactly what he should be doing. by White. Good combination landing there.
physical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. opponent's body shot. Good way to protect the midsection. You know, he did a very nice job of finishing up that. He put the third punch in there and landed the combination. Oh, what an exchange! Place counter punch by White. He has reached that point in the fight where his only chance is to cash in and hit Lotto here. He needs that grand slam, that big knockout punch, doesn't he? Yeah, and he doesn't have a pen in his hand where he can throw out the numbers, but he does have a couple of fists. And what he's going to have to do is find a specific place to aim a shot. Look for one moment, one spot. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomachache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by White. Trading blows. <laughs> Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Counterpunch by White. What a good. 
Good counter punch by White. <laughs> what a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. by bad intentions. The round comes to an end here. An enjoyable night sitting ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners, at least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete, in this case, the athlete has to be over a thousand pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter, know when the race is, know when the fight is, and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Missed that uppercut. Povetkin's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Lovetkin's <laughs> cheek is ripped open right there. You can see the cut. Decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round. after some fine defense by White. comes to an end it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight Teddy my thoughts are pretty clear-cut this is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own this is an all-out war yeah this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget you know he's spending with both hands you know when he goes home he's gonna have no money in his pockets and when this fight is over these guys are gonna have nothing left in the gas tank and it's probably not going to a decision Look 
Hurricane Counterpunch. Block that time. It was intended to the head. <laughs> the tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, Bang, it gets caught. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back-and-forth action, non-stop. Well, Joe, when special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. question everybody wants the answer to the man with the answer is standing in the ring and here he is Ovetkin, well, your winner one judge saw it even the other two in his favor a majority decision very close either way you saw it majority split whatever close good solid fight that does it from ringside for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us